This is gonna be a different kind of episode because it's a vehicle that I've never worked on before. It's a VW air-cooled dune buggy, and it's something that we bought a year and a half ago for an episode. I bought it sight unseen, somebody else picked it up. It's been outside for a year and a half at our storage place. Neither one of us have actually laid eyes on the vehicle. They've stuffed it in the shop here. We're about to roll the door open and see what we've got on our hands because we got to get this thing running in a couple days and go do donuts. Ooh. Cool. Oh, Freiburger. Wow. <laughs> you guessed a long time ago when I bought this. Did you remember? Well, you know, this is something that I've always wanted to play around with ever since I was like a sophomore in high school. I'm not gonna claim that I'm an expert on air-cooled VWs. In fact, I've never even worked on one. I know a little bit about them, and maybe you know even less. Now, the air-cooled VW, of course, since it's air-cooled, it has no cooling system like you're used to with a radiator and coolant and all that. It's taken care of by airflow, and that's why you've got fins on the cylinder barrels and the heads and stuff like that to dissipate the heat. So that's super simple, and simplicity is one of the keynote features of the whole thing. It's a four-cylinder boxer, which means the pistons go like this. Basically, they're opposed and horizontal, and instead of a regular transmission up by the shifter, it's got a transaxle back here with the engine. As a matter of fact, it's one modular unit, engine, transmission, and axle, all built into one. Now, it's four speeds. It's got a swing arm suspension, which means the suspension moves like this, and the tires move along with it. This is a little bit of an awkward gesture, but basically that's what we're working with. We might have to like flip a coin for who's driving. Oh, really? Rochambeau. Right. Rochambeau. Let's go right now. Right now? Right now. Uh-oh, he's getting intense. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta calm down, I'm way too excited. Closing eyes, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ah, the tension mounts. One, two, three. Ah! I'm oh, driving. Beat me. <laughs> I feel invincible in the dune buggy. You are invincible. How do you like the dune buggy? The boondoggy. This is the greatest Volkswagen ever built. I think it's the fan belt. Yeah. Maybe I overheated it. I can uh, overheat anything. Maybe it just needs radiator fluid. <laughs> yeah. Thing is, we're cruising along, having fun, doing Brodies and stuff, and then the engine's making this <laughs> noise, and it sounds like maybe something's rubbing inside this shroud. That fan might be all, oh, wait a minute, there's a belt right here. Does it turn off the back of the generator there? Yeah, it might, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there isn't a fan belt in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is how much we know. I think we need to push it home. All right. This says we're screwed. This isn't bad. Man, why is it so hard to push? I thought it was going to be easier than this. We might have to leave this for morning and go drink beer. Yeah. This is way too much work to end the day. It is. So it turned out this wasn't very hard to take apart or figure out. Now, this housing bolts to the fan shroud and it stands still while this spins with the generator and they were fouling. Now what I found is this housing mounts with two nuts and bolts right here onto the generator and one of them happens to be missing a nut. So I think that was flip-flopping around causing this to hit it. Yes, look at that. Pretty happy, I've got the generator bolted in. And right here, I've got no rubbing of the fan. I can turn this side and I've got sweet silence. So all I've got to do is put the pulley assembly back on, carburetor, and this is done. Got out. These are really cool. These are Coker tires and they're a very retro pattern like for old Jeeps and stuff. I've tried them out, they actually work great. It's a 7015 LT Super Traction with an X. They're gonna be great. And on the front, I got the Mickey Thompson, what they call a mini mag, which is like a retro Baja racing tire that they still use and still make. Oh, look how much cooler these are. <laughs> Whoa, that's aggressive. And we're off again. 
This time when we break it, it's Dulcich's fault. The right, pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> this is soft. Now I feel like we're in a sand dune. Now we're pretty good. I just don't want to go too crazy with the slides and stuff, because if you roll this thing, you get we're really hurt. hurt. <laughs> yeah. That could have been worse. <laughs> Man, I thought I earned my driving chops fixing this thing all up. And then what happens? I come in here hot dogging it, and I almost killed Freiburger. I felt pretty bad about that for a moment until we both turned out to be A OK. -okay. But it goes to show you grippy tires, those things just dug in, and bam, boom. It was over before I knew what happened. This is going to be great actual sand and off roading and stuff. Oh, yeah. I had this planned even before you rolled this thing yesterday. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's under my sweatshirt? I have no idea what's under your sweatshirt. Oh, oh. whoa, <laughs> Yo. isn't that awesome? Oh, dude, wow. what do you think? That is Captain America. Now that you love it, I have to upstage you though. Are you ready? Wait for it. Whoa, look at that. Wow. With yellow face shield. How's it look? Looks great. Wow. Yeah. Freiburger, you just think of everything. Off-road buggy, super cool helmet, all the sand we could possibly desire. Ready to break in your helmet, Dolchek? I hope not. <laughs> Look out for big pieces of concrete. Yeah. How's turn brake helping you? The turning brake doesn't work. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here comes the jump. Hold on. Yeah, this thing's got great suspension. It does, and it's so cushy. Oh, look at this up here. Uh-oh. Think it'll go up there? There's no way it's gonna make it up this thing. Whoa, that was awesome. Wow, the buggy <laughs> was great. I thought there was zero chance. I know, ah. me too. Oh, oh we'll get it out of here. Oh, oh that was nice. Yeah, don't kill it, don't kill it. Hit it. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, not again. We're done. Oh. I think it's all over. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. That was my very first experience with like air cooled Volkswagen full on thrashing. The lesson I learned is this is not a performance buggy. This is like an exploring boondocks cruising fun bug. The rear brakes are dragging really, really badly. And so you can't drive it except for in first gear. You got to give it a ton of RPM. It's smoking the clutch. And. The starter doesn't work anymore. Will we work on it again? I think we will. And if we do, what's going to happen, Steve? You'll see it on the future episode of Roadkill Garage. Oh, no, man. See, that's ending like on a down note. You have to go, you will see it on another episode of Roadkill Garage. See, try it. And you will see it on another episode of Roadkill Garage. OK, not quite the energy I was looking for, but we have to walk home and get a truck to pull this out.